Hyderabad's famous Muhammad Kuli Kutub Shah tomb today had a perfect digital twin. A show of power of technology, an exact replica of the 16th century tomb was made and this underlines the power of creating digital twins that could have multiple use cases including preserving heritage structures. NDTV's Uma Sudhir with a See It to Believe It event this morning. Hyderabad's Kuli Kutubsha tombs that is awaiting a UNESCO World Heritage Tag now has a digital twin. Hexagon, a global leader in reality technology, has created a 10.7 billion data points rich digital twin of the 16th century necropolis located north of Golconda that is said to be one of its kind in the world. Hexagon is a world leader in uh, what we call uh, digital reality across the globe. And what we do is we have the capabilities with our hardware and software, all proprietary, all inside, that we are able to take any monument or any city or any street, whatever the scale is, sometimes even an entire country, we are able to create a digital twin of this. Basically, it lets you work with any of the things, whether you are trying to solve city problem or a heritage problem or a specific utility problem. So that is what the space that we are in and how we are entering into the space is by creating an actionable digital twin of anything that exists on the planet. The global tech firm used its proprietary cutting-edge software and hardware technologies including 3D scanning, geospatial mapping and reality capture to generate 10.7 billion data points. Advanced AI solutions were used to recreate an actionable digital recreation of 10,000 square meters of the historic landmark. The Telangana government is hoping that this will help not just enhance visitor experience, making it more holistic, but also help them to restore, maintain and conserve the historic site. Other than historic sites, the technology makes it possible to enable governments, planners, conservationists to build futuristic smart cities with data-driven decision-making real-time analytics, visualizations and simulations. In Hyderabad, Uma Sudhir, NDTV. Fascinating technological creations, twinning a heritage monument. But how could a digital twin revolutionize conservation of such heritage monuments? Remember, the impact some of this has could be enormous. And to understand that, joining me this evening is Ratish Nanda, CEO of the Aga Khan Trust for culture. So thanks so much for speaking to us. When you see such a digital twin of a heritage monument, what would be the first thought that goes through your mind in terms of conservation, in terms of preservation of heritage structures? You see, this technology, a lot of it was really detect, made, invented to detect leaks in nuclear plants. So the same technology is now being used in heritage to figure out the cracks, the problems in the heritage building, any movement, so that that can be rectified. Also, it has a lot of uh, value as a record of what is built. For example, at the Humayun's tomb, you know, the finial had collapsed. And because we had this record, we could easily reconstruct the finial. But in terms of just the ability to see something of this nature as a digital twin, uh, yeah. you know, what, what, what is possibly the most fascinating aspect of it? I mean, I'm talking for those who were not able to see it, uh, yes. but no, know, even, as a conservationist, it must be something fascinating, right? You no, know, it's, it's incredible what technology, how technology can aid the conservation process and leapfrog several decades of, you know, uh, delay in what we need to achieve. But the technology has incredible opportunity for virtual walkthroughs, for helping share our heritage, for making, uh, making incredible records, for using heritage in innovative ways, such as even in the gaming industry. But from a conservation point of view, absolutely critical. It allows us to analyze a building like nothing else. Is there any example that you can quote? You pointed out to the Humayun's tomb a short while ago. Anything else that you can quote globally uh, where, where this has really helped in identifying something that could have been catastrophic later on? Well, what it's, what it's allowed us to do is even buildings such as the Notre Dame Cathedral and buildings where major conservation works are required. 
uh, where such records are available, there are now uh, several steps to make sure that for every national, international uh, World Heritage Site, which is at any sort of risk, that uh, such records be made, both to analyze uh, any defects, to repair them, but also in case of risk, in case of calamity, uh, the building can be restored, such as the fire at the Notre Dame Cathedral. Right. Important points that you make there. Often, you know, the power of these digital innovations uh, go far beyond what one understands or thinks of them as just an entertainment exercise where you see a digital twin of, uh, of a creation. Obviously, as Uma was pointing out in her story, smart cities, there are several, several different use cases. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Nanda, for joining us and uh, sharing those thoughts there on your screens, as you see, is that digital twin of that heritage tomb in Hyderabad.